on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fully register a program. In tutorial number 7 I showed you how to register one also but the way I'm going to show you this time works for a lot of programs and it's a lot better way. Alright, okay first we're going to open up the program I'll be using is Mr. Bills. Um, okay, I know it's unregistered because it says unregistered here and when you click about you click register you enter in a random email address and you enter in a random license number and when you click register now it says you have entered an invalid email address or license number please try again alright let's find this error okay you memorize this you have entered an invalid email okay you've entered an invalid blah, blah, blah. whoops Okay, drag Mr. Bills in. Drag it in. All right. Um, right click, search for all reference text strings. Scroll all the way up. All right, to the top. Right click on that. Search, and then yeah, you type in you have entered an invalid. Blah blah blah. Okay, it finds it. Double click on that. Alright, let's see what code makes it say this. So you look up, um, mm. Alright, this is a conditional jump. You see, it jumps to 004299F1 if the condition is right. And this is that 004299F1. And if you make a jump here, you make this jump work, it'll actually say thank you for registering. But all that really does is make it say thank you for registering, even though you're not registered. You know what I mean? It's just the graphics of it. Alright, so we keep looking up. And we find this thing, test ALAL. This is the most important piece of code when you want to regis fully register uh, an unregistered program or that gives you a trial version or whatever. Alright, AL is naturally default is zero. It's, com it's testing zero with zero. You don't want that to happen. You want it to test, you want, zero means unregistered. One means registered, alright? So let's change AL, but we just can't we, ha we can't change it here. We have to change it back in its original call. Um, you see what calls it, which is this, right? Um, zero zero four zero seven one four C. Just press enter, and then you'll get you go there. All right, let's find it. Um, open Notepad really quick. All right, um, you find it again. Test AL, AL. and what causes this is a zero zero four zero six F D one. Let's write that down. Alright, press enter to, to call to that. Is there any more ALs? If you find an AL, just look for the call of it and press enter until there's no more. Um, oh, there's another AL. Alright, this one says MOV BL to AL. This means this stores AL inside BL. But anyway, AL is still there, so let's see what caused this. Um, this thing 00406F4B. Alright, press enter on this. Alright, let's go to any other ALs. Um, um, no more ALs. The ALs don't count. This is, oh, found one. Alright, um, let's see what caused this. 0040148. Alright, yeah. Alright, press enter on that. Um, any more ALs? Alright, there's no more ALs. That means that last AL we were just on was the original one. That's the one we can change. Alright, let's go to that one. Right click. Go to expression. Copy the last one that we were in. Paste that. Click OK. Um. Alright, you know I think it's just easier if we just reset the whole program and go back to to this last one. Alright, let's go. You already know all this. Right click, search for. Enter. 
What's the one we stop on again? 1148. Okay. Enter. Enter. Alright, 1148. This is the one, this is the last one that we stopped on. So on this one, this, um, this is the original value. Double click on this. Delete BL. Change it to 1. Click Assemble. Now click Run. And. Alright. I know it's registered. Whoa. Oops, I just clicked Cancel. Alright, um, close. Close. I know it's registered because it doesn't say I'm registered here. So yeah. And I click About. I can't click this register button because it's registered. Oh, and it even says here, this copy of Mr. Bills is registered in license 2. I didn't put a name in, but before it didn't say this. It said something about it was unregistered. But yeah, all I do is just change that thing to a 1, and bam. Can't click register because it's registered. It won't say unregistered. And this thing here says it's registered to whatever. Yeah, it, w it didn't say this before. Alright, that's all.